What we're watching right now is what I consider the the volleyball equivalent of musical scales. You see Coach Steve Shandell of the Ball State University women's team going through very basic passing sequence and I was very impressed with Steve's attention to detail as his players went through this and you know what what I saw as he was going through this first of all obviously he wasn't miked um, but he was given verbal feedback as he was going through this sequence and what he did with his passers is he moved them in every direction that they were going to have to move in the course of a, a regular match. He had them moving forward and passing short balls. He had them backing up, moving sideways. Um, he had them moving 45 degrees forward, 45 degrees backwards to the left, 45 degrees backwards to the right. And I think as you go through this sequence, you'll see why Steve has been very successful at every level that he's coached at, he's coached club, he's coached high school, and you know currently the um, the coach uh, at a Division One university. And you'll see that as he goes through this sequence, the players are very conscientious of form, very conscientious of of the technique, whether they're using their hands, as you see here, or they're using their forearms. And as they go through this, you'll see that uh, you know a lot of attention is paid to posture. Um, and I'll point out a couple things that I personally think are important as players are passing. You don't see a lot of upper body rotation. Uh, you don't see a lot of, of movement up or down with the head. You'll see how the players move sideways here, how they work to get their bodies behind the ball, their shoulders stay down after they're done passing. And here he's working on moving backwards and you'll see a drop step and they tilt their platform by dropping their inside shoulder to their target but you'll see there's not a lot of twisting of their upper body. Their upper body stays very calm and they just angle their platform to their target and you'll see at no point do their shoulders come back as they're passing. They're moving back but their weight staying forward. And, and here's the same drill going in the opposite direction where they're moving back, they dip their inside shoulder and angle it to their target. Same thing going backwards, now they're using their hands. So the entire sequence, I was very impressed with what the players were doing, how hard they were working at it, how S Steve has imparted upon them being very conscientious with what they do, and a lot of repetitions in a very short period of time and he starts out tossing as as we've seen here in the last few minutes and then he'll proceed to serving a long distance replicating what they'd be receiving in a uh, in a regular match and he would take them through the exact same sequence of moving forward, moving backward, moving to the side, using their forearms, using their hands, um, all with paying attention to posture and, and detail. You know, so in a very short period of time, this was done kind of as part of a part of their warm-up sequence, in a very short period of time, all of these players passed hundreds of balls and you know the the tempo was high and as you can see see here Steve is angling the ball very flat and very hard so they get used to to receiving a, a, a hard driven ball he'll serve some of these balls from from zone one going both ways and he'll move over and uh, he'll be serving from zone five so the players are receiving from different angles so all in all I thought it was it was time that was very well spent by the Ball State passers lots of quality contacts they moved in every direction using their hands using their forearms and you know I think at times coaches don't put in this kind of time and pay this kind of attention to detail that obviously Ball State does and and they certainly had a positive year last year so it, it works out very well for them